Hello and welcome to this Uni Taster on Demand event today. My name is John Cheek, I'm the founder of Uni Taster Days and it's my job to introduce the event and introduce the speaker. The speaker today is Dr Ruth Brook, joining us from the University of Leeds. Ruth is an Associate Professor in Audiology and the subject we're going to be looking at is exactly that, Audiology. We're going to be looking at why you might want to consider the course, what to expect on it, application tips and careers. And with that, I'll pass things over to Dr Ruth Brook, joining us from the University of Leeds. Hi, I'm Ruth Brook and I'm the programme leader for the Audiology Healthcare Science course here at the University of Leeds. In this short presentation, I'm going to provide you with a brief bit of information regarding what audiology is and what the role of an audiologist is, what you should expect if you choose to study audiology at the university, uh, the university audiology course application process, and finally, why you should perhaps then consider a career in audiology. So to start with, what is audiology? Not many people have heard of audiology or know that it's a specialist profession within medicine and health. The word audiology is made up of two roots, audio and logi. Audio refers to hearing and logi to the study of. So in essence, audiology is the study of hearing. But the ear, or to be more precise, the inner ear, um, is also involved in maintaining balance. So in medical terms, audiology is the branch of medical science dedicated to the study of hearing, balance, and their associated disorders. Audiology is a rapidly developing field and the need for audiology services is clear. Hearing loss is the third most chronic, con chronic medical condition in the world. Approximately 16% of the population have a significant hearing impairment indicating that working in this field is an important area of medical practice, both within the NHS and independent sector, and also health research. As an audiologist working clinically, you typically work with a team comprised of professionals from different disciplines to assess, diagnose and treat or manage a varied range of patients with hearing or balance problems. Audiology is an outpatient service, and as such, audiologists typically work normal working hours, no shift, re shift work required, which is a definite bonus, in a variety of settings, including hospitals, community settings, and the independent or private sector. Whilst audiology is a specialist area in itself, within audiology, there are further specialist areas, including paediatrics, uh, adult audiology, special needs groups, vestibular and balance assessment and rehab, research and development and education and teaching. And contrary to many other medical professions, which are either focused on assessment and diagnosis or treatment and rehab, and one of the aspects which makes audiology particularly attractive to many individuals is the fact that audiologists are involved in the whole patient journey from assessment through to rehabilitation and beyond. And as such, it's a hugely rewarding career. You really get to know your patients and see the positive difference that your help and support can provide. It's worth mentioning also that relatively recently, research has highlighted that improving an individual's hearing can actually prevent more serious health conditions or consequences such as dementia, falls and hospital admissions, further adding to the positive difference that you can make to someone's life. Individuals often come to audiology because they have an interest in the biological or physical sciences, technology or psychology, and obviously a desire to help people. And these interests are all relevant and important to the field. So for example, an understanding of audiological anatomy and physiology is vital. Hearing aid technology is rapidly advancing with digital aids now available with Bluetooth compatibility to connect and stream phone calls or to connect to smart devices such as TVs and virtual assistant speakers. An interest in psychology is also relevant as communication and counselling skills are crucial when supporting people with hearing impairment themselves or for those caring with pe for people with hearing difficulties. Audiology is typically taught within research rich medical or science focused environments. For example, at the University of Leeds, audiology sits within the School of Medicine and our audiology curriculum is taught by audiologists as well as scientists and clinicians from different specialties and research areas. 
patients and carers are a key part of teaching and are involved in all years of the course from admissions through to graduation. A degree in audiology integrates science, technology, psychology and clinical learning. And typically in the early years of your training, you'll build up your knowledge of subjects such as anatomy and physiology, audiological assessment and disorders, professionalism and patient centered care. You'll be taught how to take a history from and how to assess patients. And many courses have first year clinical placements to help you to start putting your knowledge and skills into practice. Learning technology, such as online and realistic patient simulations, will be used to help you access and develop understanding of key information both on and off campus. And the latter years of your university training will focus on developing and integrating your theoretical and clinical knowledge and developing your technical research and clinical skills with increasing time on clinical placement so that by the time you graduate, you'll feel confident to take on the roles and responsibilities of a newly qualified practicing audiologist. Each audiology programme is different and will offer a slightly different curriculum, but all will lead to the same outcomes as required by accrediting and approval bodies to ensure that audiology graduates are competent to practice. In the next section, I'll briefly provide some guidance regarding applying to study audiology at university. In addition to the information that I'm going to present now, there's plenty of additional information and resources available out there to support you, including NHS, professional body and university guidance. First, when considering a career in health, it's worth exploring the types and nature of work carried out by the different medical and health professionals. Audiology is a highly specialist area and it's important that you understand what it is and what's involved. In addition to testing patients, analysing test results, programming digital hearing devices, audiology involves spending a lot of time talking with and counselling patients, which isn't the case for many other health related professions. The NHS Health Careers web pages are useful in this regard when exploring what there is available. Second, you need to really carefully consider where you want to apply to. So there's different types of audiology courses and each course has slightly different academic requirements and structure. As well as the course, you should also consider the institution overall and also the location. And once you've narrowed down where you think you might want to apply to, you should review their website to find out more and sign up for open days and webinars and visit days to help you decide. Once you have decided, you can then start to put together your application. And this figure here shows the tools that we have at our disposal to select audiology students. And all audiology courses use similar processes as we all have the same tools to use, but we weight these differently to adapt to our own school's ethos. So for example, at Leeds, the values of the NHS underpin what we're looking for at selection. Assessment of values is often achieved mainly through the interview process, either by reflecting on past experience or by determining how a candidate demonstrates awareness of effective behavior in work-related contexts. So if your academic record is suitable based on the entry criteria of the institution and your UCAS form is acceptable, then you'll be invited to interview. And here at the University of Leeds, we follow the same interview process as our medical students and use a multiple mini interview format. Multiple mini interviews or MMIs have been done both face to face and more recently virtually and involve the candidate being asked a series of questions by different interviewers, including lecturers, clinicians and patients. But typically all interviews include the same types of questions and these types of questions that you might get asked are shown here on the slide. In addition to appropriate academic achievement, as indicated on your UCAS form, Communication, compassion and caring are vital skills in audiology and as such our admissions process has been developed to ensure we have a robust system to identify your motivation to be an audiologist, your understanding of the profession, 
but also to allow you to demonstrate your non-academic attributes. So to finish with, why should you then perhaps consider a career in audiology? Undergraduate audiology is the start of a lifelong career of helping people and learning. Audiologists often work with their patients throughout their whole patient journey, helping babies and children to hear, supporting their language and educational development, and giving people back the ability to communicate with their family and friends and interact with their environment is hugely rewarding. No two patients are the same, ever, and the range of roles, even on a day-to-day -day basis, means the role of an audiologist is very varied and continually stimulating. Employment prospects are excellent. Audiologists will always be needed. And once you graduate, you'll be eligible to apply for band five audiologist posts within the NHS or as a hearing aid dispenser in the independent sector before, if you wish, undertaking additional training to further specialise. With appropriate further training and development, and depending on your employer, audiologists can reach consultant level within the NHS. Some audiologists have both clinical and educational roles, supporting trainee audiologists on placement, and some work in a university where their job's primarily concerned with teaching and research. So, if you have an interest in science, technology and or psychology, medicine and health, and would like to work with people and make a difference, you should perhaps then consider audiology. Thanks for listening.